Well, hey there, home. Well, hey there, homeowner. Should you build a custom home? This is a question that many folks ask themselves when they've been dreaming about having something custom that feels authentically you. This designed for you and just feels amazing. Now, when you ask yourself this question, I'd like to introduce you to a renovation principle that you should consider before you go all custom. Now, whether or not you decide to go fully custom or to do something a little bit more in the middle, this is something to consider first. Now, I'm Julie Bennett. I'm a Seattle real estate agent and a homeowner turned renovator, and I'm a woman on a mission to make renovation easier. This is one thing I wish I had considered before we did a fully custom remodel of our Seattle home. Now, a few years back, we tore down our house. We kept some of the foundations so we could keep our uh, historic, uh, our grandfathered in setbacks from the city, and we built something under some specific constraints. But if I could do it all again, I would consider building inside the box. And what I mean here is that uh, one of the things that we didn't really vet or consider during the process was, uh, was to actually do a model home or to do something like a luxury prefab. So what I mean in this renovation principle is to think inside the box. Uh, this weekend, I was down in the Prescott area for a wedding for a friend, and uh, my husband and I had the opportunity to go to the Frank uh, Lloyd Wright uh, Foundation and to tour uh, over in Scottsdale, uh, the campus uh, where he would teach during the winter months. And it was just, it was amazing, and it was just amazing to be in the space where uh, homes really transformed the way they were um, in the 20th century. And he knew that he was you know, creating this curve. Now, uh, one of the companies that was introduced to there actually does like some modern prefab architecture. And one of the things I learned um, in this process of building a home is there are so many companies that can do design and build beautifully uh, curated renovations or even brand new homes from scratch from something that's already been pretty well vetted. Um, so it's not it's not starting from scratch. It's not creating something. It's something that's already been built. Uh, they've worked out some of the issues and the layout or like the, the functionality or how things are, are designed. And when you do that, you introduce yourself to a lot of opportunity to have a more streamlined process, to have something that is more green built that is uh, already had some of those quirks worked out of it in terms of like how it's been built and constructed and how it will go in. So before you go fully custom and contact an architect to draw something for you from scratch, consider doing something more inside the box. So consider uh, Google prefab and uh, pre-constructed homes. There's um, so many variations of how this looks. So you have some that uh, bring on uh, pre-done framing, or you might have designs that can be semi-customizable, but you're not starting from scratch. Now, this can also benefit you when you're hoping to save a little bit of money in your design process, because designing with an architect can easily run a couple hundred dollars an hour to design something. So if you can work from a plan that you can modify to suit your, your needs, maybe you're adding an extra room, or you're making a couple of rooms bigger, but you're on the whole, keeping the spirit of the design intact, you can save a lot of money and also a lot of time because there's a lot of back and forth. Uh, when those, uh, when some uh, homes that have been kind of pre-designed or are prefabricated, uh, the semi-custom homes or even, you know, more of the um, manuf like the luxury manufactured homes, though the issues in the designs have been worked out, and you also can have really a clear expectation about what you're going to get. So something that you don't have from the outset when you're designing a, a house is certainty and transparency around what it's going to cost, how long it's going to take to build, and you know whether or not you can even afford it. With um, some of these different types of products that are out there, you can have a lot more certainty around what it will actually cost before you've spent 10, 20, 30, 40, $100,000 on a design and not know that you can even afford to build the house. <clears throat> so something to consider before you 
uh, really dive into a fully custom home. Uh, there are a lot of different manufacturers out there, different types of options, depending on where you're located um, and a lot of different price points. So a lot of things can be a little bit more tailored to, you know, uh, to your budget. So if you say, Hey, my, my, I already own the land and my budget for this house is $500,000 or it's a million dollars or whatever the number is, you have a lot more certainty and transparency that the product that you're going to purchase will actually cost that much because they've already built it. They have the plans and, um, you know, whether or not you're able to do some customizations to that along the way, uh, you're going to have a lot clearer picture about what to expect in the process and how big of a check you're going to write. So my renovation principle is to think inside the box before you go fully custom. And you might still decide that you want to do everything on your own and have everything be tailored for you, and that's okay. But at least explore and research some of the options that are out there because uh, there are some absolutely phenomenal designs and you really will have a clear picture about what you're going to get and what it will look like. You might even be able to um, have a virtual tour of a space that's already been completed, which is not something you can do when you're doing something from scratch. Thank you so much for joining me live. I'm Julie Bennett. I'm a real estate agent in Seattle, Washington, and I'm home and a homeowner turned renovator. Excuse me. Um, I'm getting on here live. I'm trying to sh uh, share some of this uh, this hard earned knowledge uh, on a more daily basis. I appreciate it. If you learned something in this, if you hit the like button or subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And I'd love to see you back here as I dive into the other renovation principles uh, that I learned rebuilding my Seattle home from the ground up. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers.